Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today, we're gonna see how we can apply screen tones in our illustrations, drawings, pictures, or photos in Adobe Photoshop. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So, we're gonna open Photoshop, we open, and then we're gonna, we have to choose whatever we, uh, we have to apply our screen tones or, so like, I have this drawing, I was drawing. I know it's not that good okay so we have to we can see on the left side we have this brush tool so we have to select that okay we selected it okay this is brush tool okay so we're gonna see in the top we have this brush folder icon so this one yeah we have to click we selected it and now we have brush settings we have to go to brushes in the brushes let me show you from the scratch how I chose the screen tone we have general brushes we have dry media brushes we have wet media brushes we have special effect brushes and these any brush and uni brush are my own brushes that I made myself we're gonna see we're gonna talk about that later in later videos so as for now we have to see how we can apply screen tones we have to go to special effect brushes here and now we can see there are a lot of different kind of patterns here so we have to as you can see there are Kylie's screen tones 35 Kylie's screen tones 38 so let me tell you the difference in between these two okay let me show you the difference first of all like suppose I chose this Kylie's screen tones 35 okay from here you can you can change the size you can change the size from here as well and this is for opacity let me show you so I chose this Kali screen tone and then you're gonna click on this double arrow sort of thing and let me just zoom it in a bit yeah so like suppose I wanna I wanna highlight I want to fill his right right side of the face with the screen tone so I'm just simply going to I'm sorry yeah now here like I'm simply using it like brush like the way you use your brush and doodling it wherever you want to and So this is how you apply screen tones like normally you would color with a brush. You can like suppose as you, you can see here my my outlines that I drew are a bit you know are kind of vague so we can kind of clear opacity. I this is what I usually choose the opacity percentage. So you can see now my drawings are a bit see-through. Are they not? This is to change the opacity to as light as you want your screen tones to be. From here, you can change your color. Like suppose I want to color it green. Opacity for me here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now green. So. This is how you usually do. So let me show you how what was the difference in between these two screen tones. This is Kylie's 35, which I was currently using, and this is Kylie's 38. Now you can see. Um, let me just show you with this black color. We'll make it clear. So this is Kylie's 38. You can see that there is a lot of gap in between these dots. But in this Kylie's 30, uh, 35 screen tone, you can see there is, but a bit, there is but a bit of gap in between the dots, which makes it, um, like, which makes it a better, better choice for me. So I usually go with this, and usually with this, since I do a lot of manga drawings. 
So I go with this color of the screen tone opacity. I usually go around with 52, 51 or something. So this is how you go. So in the next video also, I'm gonna tell you how you can how you can use your screen tones as patterns. So that's for the next video. Make sure you like and comment if you like the video only then and subscribe to my channel. So this is it. Take care. Bye bye.